What's up guys? Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this simple Halloween decor, um, just some spider webs and this spike ball. So if you want to see how I made this, keep on watching. You will need the spiked rubber ball and uh, the spray paint, which is 96 cents from Walmart, by the way. Yes, 96 cents. So I'm using the color black and these, um, these book rings. So I went ahead and spray painted the ball and the book rings and here they are after they're dry, once they're dry. Um, what I wanted to do was to put the book rings together. That's why I went ahead and spray painted all of them. <laughs> so you're supposed to put all of them together and then the last one would be glued onto the ball. But I realized as I was putting them together is that I have this basket that I bought from Dollar Tree, this garden basket. I'll show it to you in a second right here. And excuse the mess, I know I have it filled with things, but this garden basket, it comes with a chain already. So I took one of the chains off and, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I took the chain off and um, I took one book ring and I hooked it on the chain and I will be gluing the book ring onto the ball. But if you don't have this chain, um, you can definitely just put the book rings together and it will work just as good. It still looks good. And you guys, if you like videos that are straight on point, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Trust me, you do not want to miss my upcoming videos. I'm working on something good. <laughs> Which, by the way, I just remembered, if you haven't seen my welcome uh, post sign that I've made in my last video, make sure to check that out. I will put the link down below in the description. You have to see it. It's amazing. So basically you're just going to glue the book ring. I'm going to show both DIYs together in the end. So here is the next one. Um, you're going to need a cup, school glue, um, a, one balloon, paintbrush, and this cotton twine that I got from Dollar Tree, by the way. Oh, and don't forget your spiders. First, you wanna blow up your balloon and then you're going to get your cotton twine. This project is so easy. Um, you're going to get your cup, not your cotton twine, I'm sorry, get your cup and then you're going to get your school glue and it's going to be part school glue, part water. So if it's half a cup of school glue, it's half a cup of uh, water. So we mix those well together with a paintbrush and then we're going to soak the um, cotton twine in it. So I ripped my cup because it was pretty big. So you let the, you want to let that soak for a while just to make sure it goes through the entire roll. And then um, basically you just wrap it around the balloon to create that spider web look. Make sure to put something under um, the cup while you're working. This will get messy. And we don't want husband to get mad now, do we? <laughs> If you've seen my other video, you would def definitely know what I'm talking about. I'm always making a mess on this table. I know I mentioned it before, but the cotton twine and the spiders, they're from Dollar Tree. Um, earlier in the video, the spray paint was from Walmart for 96 cents and the rubber ball, my, my uh, daughter gave it to me for this DIY. Yes, she's literally like, mom, go ahead, take it. You need to grow up. <laughs> Yay, we're almost done. Here's how it looks. Now you're going to let that dry probably overnight and then we're going to glue on the spiders. So I'm going to set that aside to dry and um, I still have some cotton twine left over. I wanted to show you guys. I ended up making two of them and I still had some more. Of course, it depends on how big you make your um, you have your balloon. But once you feel that the cotton twine is hard enough or hard, has hardened, um, you can go ahead and pop your balloon. And now we're going to use our, use our glue gun, of course. I forgot to mention, we need your hot glue gun, you guys. Surprise. Anyway, you're going to get your um, hot glue gun and you're going to glue on the spiders. And 
here they are, the spider webs and the spike ball. I think they turn out pretty nice. Um, it's like a little addition to your Halloween decor and Personally, I, you know, I feel like the small balloon or the small spider web looks better than the big one. I don't know. What do you guys think? The spike ball totally looks nice, though. I added some spiders on that as well on the chain, and there's one on the ball. You can't really see it that well. But let me know what you guys think. It's a simple and easy DIY that I just came up with last minute. I wanted to share with you guys, but make sure to like and subscribe for more fun DIYs. See you all next time. Bye.